uh, we are gonna be doing Makoto Mobius. It is a yearly tradition uh, for every Valentine's Day for me to do a Charon game because he he hoo hoo ha ha funny yandere's on Valentine's joke. Uh, but I wound up going to sleep on Valentine's Day after the cooking stream and I decided to do it this morning. So yeah, uh, really late Valentine's Day celebration. Uh, as this is a Charon game, uh, again, be sure to keep in mind that this tends to feature Yandere's. Uh, also, according to Barn, uh, the game deals with neglect, uh, suicide, and abuse. So, if those are any triggers for you, then yeah. Uh, please be careful, and if it's like a big trigger for you, don't definitely don't want to stick around, you know? So yeah, let's switch on over to the game now. And this should be a short stream, because Karen games are never too long. Probably like an hour or two. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Really late wet day celebration. <laughs> Valentine's. You remember? I, I made you cookies and everything on Valentine's. Except for the people on YouTube. I decided not to upload the Valentine's Day cookie making to YouTube. So that that's just if you're on that's just if you go to my Twitch channel. Alright. Pull out the game. Nothing I can't handle. Alright. Well let's jump right into it. Also let me know how the audio and everything sounds. Wasn't that just Elio streaming day cookies? <laughs> day cookies? Also, let me adjust your guys' uh, chat window here. There we go. Alright, and let me know how the audio sounds. It sounds pretty loud for me, so I'm turning it down on my end. Let me know if it's too loud for you guys. I hope you're doing well. I really like Charon's art style. Yeah, I follow Charon on, on Twitter and I really like their art style. Uh, there, there's a few indie devs, indie game devs that I've been wanting to commission from time to time. But Charon is up there on people I really want to commission. Challenge time, challenge times day, the day where various small content creators compete in events to earn subscriber and a sponsorship for Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> It was kind of loud, but now it's fine. Okay. Well, let's get started then with Makoto Mobius. So how does the window look? All right, this game contains violent and grotesque depictions, as is the norm. This story is a work of fiction. Any resemblance to anything is co a coincidence. Presented by Charon. Read Shadow Legends? Please tell me more about this game that I have never heard of before. <laughs> this stream sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Not really. Don't sue me. Hey. Do you know about Mobius? Also, let me... Let me just this, move this over just a little bit. There's like a little sliver of white in the corner that I'm not a fan of. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, there we go. Oh my god, stop! Sorry, my alarm just went off. They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. Mobius. So like, Kronos? Would I be better off dead? You're not a fan, you're a bunny. <laughs> yeah, it was the message someone alarm going off. <laughs> oh, I like her design. It came out of nowhere, directed at me for some reason. The girl who sat next to me, Makoto, asked me that. Oh, Makoto Mobius, I see. She was simply a classmate. We were in the same class, but we had never really spoken much. 
And yet, Makoto came to me with that question. Huh. That night, Makoto died. Oh shit! So she committed suicide? I didn't even know whether it was a suicide, homicide, or accident. It was never revealed. Well, since she posed that question, I'm assuming it's suicide. Makoto has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my, my uncle's TV in the background. That was all the teacher would tell me. Wow. So that's us. I... don't really care. Oh jeez. I can't hear the TV good. You are Wataro. <laughs> I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me died. Oh wow. Even though she had disappeared. It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. I'm not even sad. I didn't have a single connection to her. She looks like her special weapon would be a pair of scissors. I too have watched a comic I kill all. I was thinking of the the Monogatari series. You just flip up your skirt and a bunch of scissors come out. She was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without her same quiet everyday life. Hello, Elio. Ah, oh, hello, Kurama. How you doing today? Welcome, welcome. She was gone, but my life would go on. Jeez. I mean, I guess this is understandable. If you don't really know a person and they die, I get, like... I don't know. I still kind of feel sad when I hear news about people dying, even if I don't really know them that well. <laughs> Good morning, Mataro. You're not looking too hot today. Are you okay? Oh, shoot. Oh. Ow. Does this game have multiple endings? Let me see. I'm fine. I feel like I'm gonna throw up or I had a scary dream. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. This girl is Mikio. Like Makoto, she's just another classmate who rarely speaks to me. This game does in fact have multiple endings, however I don't think these choices affect it. Oh, okay. Apparently, she was Makoto's best friend. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Hey, is there something bothering you? Oh, I get it. You're annoyed because I'm here to talk all of a sudden, even though I normally never talk to you. But I came to talk to you today because I have a favor to ask. Can you guess what it is? I'm getting, like, sus vibes from her. I don't know, something about her. Oh, she's one of those. Yeah, I'm getting- I'm getting that vibe, too. I'm getting that vibe. She is cute. She is cute. Yeah, she's too cheerful. Like, her best friend just died. And she's smiling? Like, she said that she- He just said that her best friend was Makoto, right? And she just died. Why is she smiling? If she was close to her, she wouldn't just be so casual, yeah. Did she maybe kill Makoto or something? <laughs> Get out of here, weirdo! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> People handle death differently, true. Yeah, get out of here, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, you seem a bit too... too happy. You're mean, you big dummy! Well, that's what I was thinking.
thinking twice. She probably killed Makoto to get closer to you. Because this is a Charon game. So, I'm assuming. I was thinking, I want to help out Mako. She sat next to you, so she was jealous. Yeah. And you're the only one who can do that. She just leaves and the game ends. <laughs> Don't gotta deal with no Yandere's anymore. She came over to talk to you yesterday, right? I was watching, you know. And then I killed her. She went to you to ask for help instead of me, her best friend. Uh, what are you talking about? I, I don't want to make claims that I know what I'm talking about when I clearly don't know Makoto that well. So that might have been her call for help. <laughs> Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help even if she really wanted it. What a sweet little maiden. Mm. How do you plan on doing this? Or dead people can't come back. Oh, is that what you're worried about? You don't have to worry about that, Wataro. Hey, do you know about Mobius? The character you're playing looks like they'd have scarlet eyes and a blood moon and be able to use all the Nen specialties. They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help even if she needed it. Oh, that's a mood. Yeah, that... I, I wouldn't... She said like, oh, what a sweet young maiden. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't say something like, oh, she's so sweet. I would be like, that. that's like really sad that she can't, you know, talk about her feelings. Or ask for help when she needs it. Like, that's something to, like... What, what's the word? What's the word? Um... Not so much feel bad, like, sympathize, empathize, so something like that. If someone's like that, I wouldn't be like, Oh, what a sweet young maiden. I would be like, that. that's really sad. I, I would like you to be able to talk when you're having problems. Pretty pitiable, yeah. It's just an urban legend. Wrong! He really exists. I know. There's apparently a prequel manga called Mikio Nightmare, which has Mikio being the protagonist. Oh, huh. Interesting. I've even met him. You've met him too, Wataro. Huh? Nani? Okay, here. It's a Mobius strip. I made it myself. I made it out of construction paper. A Mobius strip. <laughs> you close your eyes, put both arms through it, and say the magic words. You have to say Mobius, I beg of you, eight times. Uh, guess I have no choice. I don't really want to say I'll prove it's a myth. Maybe this is her way of coping. Like, maybe she's just, like, cheerful as her way of coping. Who knows? I don't know with this girl. Mobius, I beg of you. She just said it. <laughs> she's about to summon Bill Cipher. <laughs> Y'all, I want to see Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher's my husband. I used to have, like, a, a little crush on Bill Cipher as a treat. Mobius, I beg of you. 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 Off you go, Wataro. <laughs> Submissive and breedable? No, no. Depressive and pitiable. <laughs> She's about to handcuff you to the bed. No! Makoto can be saved. 
I made it myself. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I thought you preferred the cube over the triangle. I do, but I also like the triangle. Maybe I'm just attracted to... Maybe I'm just attracted to shapes. Next, I'm gonna ca fall in love with, like, a sphere. By me. Why? How? But... In that moment... As my consciousness drifted away, I heard someone's voice calling out to me. Plot twist, the game is just glitching. <laughs> How many times has it been now? Yeah, I was like, do I really have to sit through him saying this eight times? <laughs> what is it that you desire? Elio is a geometry major. His favorite ship is a dodecohedron. My, you know, something sad is that my my favorite shape used to be uh, the shape that is being used on Twitter now to signify people to bully. So now I can't stand that shape anymore. That was like, the, well, that was the shape that was used in Dot Hack a lot, so I would draw it a lot just for fun, but I can't enjoy it anymore because now it's a symbol for those sorts of people. What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? Oh, lol, oh. It's being used as a red flag, so it's still being useful, true. It's still so hard to even tell when someone has their icon be like that, though. <laughs> Especially if you're on mobile. Honeycombs are now sus. I can't believe it. Why did you God do that to me, Twitter? No matter how much you twist the wing of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. Yo, I, I actually am like a big fan of time loops and like going back in time, so... What, 2013? June 23rd. Yeah, Science Gate. I've really been wanting to play Steins Gate. The next instant, I was there. Hexagon? More like heck be gone. <laughs> a calming night breeze. A gently shining moon. Majora's Mask, please. Oh, I really enjoy you, Majora's Mask. That, that's a really good game. Was this Makoto's house? Makoto's house is a void? Oh, there we go. Okay, we can't save here. Oh, that, that music isn't ominous at all. This must be Makoto's house. Or the Ocarina of Time, since I haven't seen it. Yeah, Ocarina of Time involves, like, timey whiny stuff, too. A guide. So we got Sniff, Sniff, Sniff. Cursed, Host of a Cursed, and Death Flag. Someone's gonna die. Oh, that's our skills? I mean, at least it's better than, like, the previous game I played, where the dude's skills was looking up people's skirts or whatever. A t-shirt and shorts. Remove to become a perper. <laughs> Why can't I remove it? Mikio made it with construction paper. You must be being watched. Yeah, th this is typical RPG horror. Oh, <gasps> Bunny! I offer my safe point services throughout the nation. I love you. Care to save? Always, always with you, my homie. There's a shoe cabinet here. There's nothing strange about it. I love ominous moaning, what a banger. <laughs> Every time I hear that song, I'm like, oh, am I gonna get chased? Looking up skirt, two OP, please nerf. <laughs> you must be being watched. It's a calendar. Today is June 23rd. This gives me out Oni vibes. Yeah, definitely. The layout of the house, especially. Very, very out Oni. There's some curry in the pot. I wonder if Makoto made it. it smells kind of good. Ooh, I love curry. It's a stove. Turn on the gas. Okay. Am I gonna die? Actually, never mind. It seems dangerous. There's a kitchen knife here. Take it? Of course. A 
faucet is here. A water filter is attached. It must produce some pretty tasty water. The bunny is going to be involved in a chase scene. Bunnies are always terrifying. What do you mean? Yeah, it's like, with Ocarina of Time, it, you, it, it involves like multiple timelines. Like, you, you go to the future, and then you do things, and then you go back into the past, and, like, things get fucked up after that. Thank you, Hyrule Historia. It's a refrigerator. Inside are a bunch of containers, stuffed with side dishes. There's a bit of rice left in the cooker. By the way, off topic, but do you want a fucked up bit of knowledge? The full-size spicy Caesar chicken salad from Wendy's has only slightly less calories than a Baconator. Ooh. Oh, now you're making me hungry! I want a Baconator! Well, I am going out in like three hours, so maybe I'll get a Baconator. Some cold coffee is here. Oh, these leaves kind of burn. Yeah, hero time, yeah. A charm is affixed to the underside of the table. A charm? Call Mikio? I, I suppose. Elio isn't scary, he's tossable like a javelin in an Olympic event. Oi. Oi, Timida. Hello? Oh, what that -o? What's up? Look how late it is. I think Makoto might die. Oh boy. Majora's Mask is the saddest game itself. Yeah, that, that game is really well done. I hope that the Breath of the Wild 2 game kind of, like, has the same kind of atmosphere. Because some people are talking about how it reminds them of Majora's Mask, and I hope that it goes with that, because I really enjoy Majora's Mask. Huh? Mako, it's, like, so... It's so, like... Yeah, it's very depressing, like, seeing people know that they're gonna die in three days. And just, like, how they... Especially on the last day, how everyone gets together and just kind of braces themselves for what's gonna happen. Very emotional. I love it. Is that true? That's a big-ass phone, yeah. <laughs> She's got one of them analog phones. The old, tiny, whiny phones. Oh no, what should we do, Wataro? Isn't there some way we can save Mako? You know how, don't you? Come on and tell me! Someone has to take her place, oh? Okay. Okay then. So, if I die, Mako will be saved? What? I got it. Thanks, Wataro. Wait, what? I... Huh? Wait, 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 wait? That, that just came out of nowhere, what? Mikio died that night, what? <laughs> How does he know this? Yeah, sacrifice for a friend. What? What is this? Don't worry, guys. One life for another, I guess. But how did he just come to that conclusion? I'm sorry for doubting you, Mikio. Yeah, she just... What? It was a suicide. Mikio has passed away. Mikio took her own life to save Makoto's. <laughs> Dang, time for the next game! <laughs> Very short game! <laughs> <sighs> Why? Why did Mikio... Any percent? <laughs> I speedrun it. Why did she kill herself? Mikio had become a replacement. That was all there was to it. Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. That is Atelier Sophie's first love equivalent exchange. <laughs> if fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. I, I, 
I'm happy that you keep going with the full metal Atelier Sophie thing, Twy. I'm glad that that's a recurring theme. <laughs> that way, the world can stay in balance and Makoto's life can be saved. What the hell? Did you just put, like, a, a message about you checking the mail? Like, did you think this was Discord born? Do you know something? Why did Mikio have to die? <laughs> it happens. Yeah, it does. If I had Discord selected when typing... Oh... <laughs> She died so you wouldn't. I don't get it. What are you talking about? Are you saying I was supposed to die? You're saying Mikio died instead of me? <laughs> so, this is the reality where I don't die? Where Mikio does just to make the numbers match? I... I don't want that kind of reality. Damn it! Why did it have to turn out this way? Th this plot is confusing me. <laughs> no. Thank you. Like, they're just kind of accepting this stuff happening. And then, what Toto just knew? To exchange one life for another? What? And yet... Makoto had been saved. Saved by exchanging Mikio's life for hers. Huh? Bad N3, Mikio's desired future. Oh, jeez. I feel like you're supposed to have more context before you get this ending. Like, you got it early. Mmm. Yeah. Well, it was a bad end, so... Yeah. Let me see. Oh. Yeah, not, Mataro knows the sauce because timey-wimey BS. Oh, okay. Did you think it would end just like that? There's no way I'll accept this. Accept my best friend's death. Mataro. You did this. You tempted her into doing this. If this world is going to repeat itself too... That must mean there's more than one of you floating around. So, it's alright if one of you dies, what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, understandable. Unforgivable. Alright, I got two bad ends. I really am speedrunning it. Congratulations on your speedrun. <laughs> Double speedrun. <laughs> We already got two endings, boys. LVO. <laughs> okay, let's not examine the phone. <laughs> Date hasn't changed yet. It's a calendar. Inside the trash can, there's a folded piece of paper. Read it? I mean, why not? I'm gonna be late tonight. Go ahead and go to bed before me. From Dad. Oh, so it's in the trash. Maybe she doesn't have a good relationship with her family? There's a picture frame here. In the picture are Makoto and what seemed to be her mother and father. Everyone is smiling happily. This time she kills you with paper. <laughs> she makes a paper knife. She gives me a paper cut. A well-maintained decorative plant is here. The dinnerware here all looks like it came from a dollar store. Oh, that's- that's the mood. That's the mood. That- that's all my tableware, too. Probably shouldn't turn the TV on. Why not? I want to watch my soaps. Gotta watch all my children. Alright. Well, someone's getting ready to take a bath, looks like. My face is reflected in the mirror. I'm not very good looking. I'm average, if not worse. Hey, you have half confidence. I'm, I'm sure you'll look cute. There's a bath stool here. I think I might have seen it in a dollar store somewhere. Okay, so 
Are, are they saying, like, are, is this their way of saying that Makoto's parents are poor? A shower head. It's a faucet. It's a type with a temperature control. You have children? That explains why you steal my dad jokes. <laughs> the bathtub looks nice and clean. Okay. Well, you left the water running, Makoto. You okay? An oddly colored notebook is here. Yeah, why not? Invade privacy. That's my life. One, placing the curse. Cut a paper into a thin, long strip. Then twist one of the ends and attach it to the other. This is called a Mobius strip. Oh, so it's a curse. Slip your arms through the Mobius strip, then chant eight times, Mobius, I beg of you. After a moment, you will lose consciousness and find yourself in your desired time and location. You will then be the host of this curse. Two, warning. This is a curse. It allows you to relive a certain period of time forever. Be sure to act in accordance with the rules. Should you stray from them, you will lose something dear to you. The number of people who will die on any given day is fixed. This is absolutely impossible to change. Three, removing the curse. There is no way to remove the curse. Ellie, about the business deal we have, the payment can happen. Where do we send the money? Ah, uh, I, I think, uh, do you have my PayPal, Barn? Or wait, uh, do you have my Venmo? I, I, I do care if you have my PayPal or my Venmo, but either of those is fine. However, if the curse's host dies, the time loop will end. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing true end is I die, right? There's nothing inside the drawer. There's a cactus here. Mr. Cactus is written on the pot and marker. Well, I got, I got a bunch of cactuses outside myself. The mirror shows countless eights engraved on it. Huh. A small TV is here. A well-maintained decorative plant is here. Makoto probably takes care of it every day. Or find the one who cursed you and drop her. <laughs> it's a cute looking shelf. Inside the tissue box, there's a picture of a cat drawn. Did Makoto doodle this? Technically on your first run around, Wataro canonically reads this curse book. Which is how he knows that in the ending when he calls Mikio. You decided to speedrun, however, leading to your confusion. I see. They should have maybe made it to where you can't contact Mikio until you read that book then. Or at least got one ending. It's Makoto's diary. Read it. Why not? June 21st. I'm not sure, given that Mikio dying was ending three, I'm expecting three endings for each of them dying and the true end is when all survive somehow, huh? I do not have your PayPal. Is it in the video's description below the subscribe button? It might be. I think you can access it through Ko- Well, uh, do you have my Venmo? Do you have my Venmo? Venmo will probably be better. Such a gloomy atmosphere. It's suffocating. I can hardly breathe. I can't smile at all, even if I force myself to. There's no heart in it. It's keeping me going. What would happen if I lost that? I do not. Please provide. Also, I'm sorry to derail stream. I just know you have a time limit. Yeah, here. Uh, let me just take a moment to message Barn. My, uh, my Venmo. Let me just pull up my Venmo real fast. While we watch Makoto here being very depressed. How could you do this to Makoto? Okay. Take a screen cap. And then I'll just send this over to you. Shouldn't have any sensitive information on it. Venmo to you, Barn. 
So there you go. By the time I find out, it might be too late. Oh, I hear it. I hear it again. Sick, now I can commit fraud. <laughs> Please, don't do those terrible things. My heart aches so much. You're inhuman. Dad's having trouble at work again. Uh, I'm guessing she's depressed because maybe her family can't afford to like, maybe they have like a debt or something. Every day is the same for me. The same time, the same space. I wanna help dad. I wanna help dad. I wanna help dad. What can I do? And no sensitive info. The only sensitive thing around is me. <laughs> Aww. It's so agonizing. Not being able to do anything is so painful. If only I could change just one thing. I don't care what would happen to me. Probably wouldn't be mad about it. I doubt I'd even resist. What is my heart made of? I wish I wasn't born as a human, but rather as something without a heart. I don't care whether it would have been biological or mechanical. June 22nd. Once again, Dad. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. I made curry. And then, the next day after this is when she dies. I think it came out tasty. There's nothing to do in the house, so I just keep improving my ability to do housework. I don't have any interest. I used to have some, but now I don't want to do anything. I'm guessing... I'm guessing maybe her mom's not around anymore, and that he, like, abuses her to take out his frustrations? That's the vibe I'm picking up right now. Leave me alone. I don't matter. If Dad told me to die, I would. That's all I can do. There are no options. There's no other way. She made curry. I think she tr she thinks it came out tasty. I want to try her curry. I'll, I'll, I will try your curry, Makoto. Well, I'm sure it tastes very good. And I I will I will get you out. I'm gonna get you out of this situation. Um, like if it's if it's the situation I think like that this is a situation I can kind of relate to. My body feels heavy. Was it always this heavy? I'm gonna sleep. I feel depressed. June twenty third. I talked to Wadero. That's right. I've never really spoken to him much, but he's the guy who sits next to me. He always has a gloomy look on his face, just like me. I have a theory, but might count as a spoiler, given how I'm making that guess. Oh. <laughs> I can't really speak for him, but it sure doesn't seem like he's having fun with life. I mean, it's fine to talk about it if you don't know if it's true or not. I didn't tell him anything. It's not like I'm feeling concerned or anything like that. Did I want to discuss something with him? Not quite. I'm not worried about anything. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not worried at all. <laughs> mm, are you sure? Nothing has been written after this yet. I'm not, I'm not so sure you're sure about that, Makoto. You said if my dad told me I would to die, I would. And earlier Barn mentioned abuse as a trigger warning. Yee. Makoto is asleep. Sniffer? What the fuck? Why? Why is this? <laughs> I, 
I, I mean, okay, is she dead? Let me smell her. Did she smell like a corpse? Yeah, weird, but okay. Sniff, sniff. Okay? <laughs> Makoto is asleep. Okay, I guess I can't do anything with her. N not attempt to move or wake, just sniff, yeah. Let's not talk to her, maybe get her therapy. Let's just sniff her. It's one of your skills, Elio. <laughs> not so sure you're sure that I'm sure that she's sure that me, Kyo, sure. I think that line might be more literal than it seems, yeah. I I'm assuming she's getting abused by her dad as well. There's a crumpled up piece of paper. Read it. And she's like crumpling up the messages from her dad too. Damn it. Damn it, 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 damn it. Oh boy. It's Makoto's dad. Wait, what? He's taking a nap. Oh, okay. He's like sitting in front of the computer, I guess. It looked like a chair, so I was like, wait, what? Makoto's dad? <laughs> Makoto's dad is an armchair? It's a bookshelf. It's full of old books. Wait, wait, I know the way to solve this. We just kill Makoto's dad. The salary man, building communication skills. How to speak while looking someone in the eyes. Business etiquette you'll be embarrassed without. Inside the drawer, there are a large number of sleeping pills. Oh, force them down Makoto's dad's throat. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, do you guys think this is like the good end? Hold on. Hold on, I, I wanna check my stuff here. I'm guessing all those options give you endings. Today is June 23rd. I wanted to make that joke. I highly doubt MC cares about the dad though. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a way to make it to where Mikio, Makoto, and Wataro get out alive. Books and various other goods decorate the shelf. A futon that smells like an old man. I'd probably pass out if I took a good whiff. Why don't you smell it then? A suit is hanging on the rack. The curse involved someone you care dying, unless I misread. I think it's if you break the curse, you'll lose something close to you, I, I believe. Okay, so I have a knife. Wait, oh, oh wait, I didn't grab it this playthrough. Let me grab it. Let me grab that knife. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? No one got a knife? Wait, where, where did I grab the knife? There, there was like a knife here somewhere, wasn't it? Some curry in the pot. Oh wait, maybe I have to turn the on the gas first? Oh, okay, then murder. <laughs> okay, where? Hmm. I could have swore I saw like a knife here. It was before I called Mikio too, I believe, when I grabbed the knife, so. Huh. Alright, well. Let's kill her dad then. I don't really see anything else to do but kill her dad with sleeping pills. Yep. Yep. Time to murder. If fate said Makoto would die. Wait, Elio. Eh? We have technology. <laughs> If fate said she would be killed by her father, then I'll just keep him asleep tonight. Use the computer instead to hit him. <laughs> that way, no one will die. A June 23rd where no one dies. This is the answer I've come up with. Nice SpongeBob reference. <laughs> I went back to my house. Oh, geez. 
My house was alight, flames burning brightly. For dad is a chair that explains why he's a bad dad. Well. That day my mother died. Well, shit. We lost someone that is dear to us. Oh. Bad end four. Someone somewhere. Hug get wrecked. One must always die. No exceptions. And I'm built different. I'm gonna amnesia memories this. It was rule number two, Elio. Oh, I can go outside. Yeah, let's go outside. See what happens when we go outside. Oh, she just gets killed. Aww. Makoto. You're still awake? Oh, so you were waiting for me. I just finished work. Sorry for being so late. Thank you, Makoto. It's been rough on me lately. Things haven't been going well at work. They got mad at me during editing. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't be complaining so much. That's why mom got fed up after all. Oh, okay. So I was right. Their, their mom left them. And then it became a dysfunctional household. You're on my side, right, Makoto? You wouldn't leave me and go off somewhere like mom did, right? I'm on your side. I won't go anywhere. I'll stay with you. Makoto. Uh, uh, no! I, no! What? I didn't think it was going there. Hey, Makoto. Oh, so... Oh, that that's even worse than what I thought it was with just abuse. Like, I thought she was getting hit. I didn't think she was having this happen. Hey, Makoto. If I told you I wanted to die, would you die with me? Huh? Kind of expected it, but yeah, different but not completely unexpected. I want to be clear that I forgot about this. No, no worries, Barnhouse. I understand. Otherwise, I would have said something. Yeah, I'm so sorry if this triggered anyone. I, I... See, it's gotten pretty hard to keep on living. Keep on living. I feel like I want to just end it all. Yeah, you sure did walk in at a time. Welcome, Jackie. Yeah. Hi. How are you doing other than seeing this despicable act going on? But I'm worried about leaving you alone in a world like this. Yeah, yeah, same. Like, I, I will forget stuff. If it's, like, truly reprehensible, I will just forget. I gotta head off to class. Good luck getting a good ending for a change. <laughs> Thank you, Koopal. Hope class goes well with you. So, Makoto. Wait, was I here watching this? Please die with me. Wait, I was watching from like outside or something? Cause that, that's Wakoto, right? <sighs> Don't worry, Makoto. I'm next. Stalker. Now I'll... I can't. Oh, so you can kill someone, but you can't die? Makoto, I can't. I just can't do it. You bitch! I'm too scared to kill myself. There's no way I can do it. It would offset the number meant to die. I also expected that too. Yeah, honestly, I expected him to chicken out too, since we know it's one death, but still. Y you kill her, and then you can't die. Like, bro. Ugh. Yeah. 
Yeah, otherwise Miki or dying wouldn't be enough, yeah. Makoto! Jeez. Yeah, wow, okay. Yeah, he's a coward. Yeah, no wonder. He's a truly reprehensible being. Makoto had died. She had been forced into a double suicide by her own father. Just what had her life been like for her to have died like that? Would I be better off dead? Why did she ask me that? God, it... Uh, I, I don't know if the... I, I don't want anyone to get worried when I say this, but I, I, I actually have um, a similar experience with my own mother. So th this definitely kind of hits home for me. Like, it never happened, but my mom did, uh, threaten, like, a, a, uh, what, what is the word? It wasn't, like, it wasn't me wanting to be involved in it, but it would have wound up being, like, a, a double suicide if it did happen. I wasn't a friend or a family member. I was just her classmate. So, like, th this is definitely something that, like, definitely hits home for me. Like, I already felt like Makoto's home life was definitely something I could relate to. When she never really spoke to, at least. Yet, she asked me. Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help, even if she really wanted it. And luckily when that happened, I wasn't like Makoto. I, I round up running out and getting my cousin to take me away from my mom. But yeah, that, that was really scary. I'm glad nothing happened, but I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. Makoto might have wanted me to help her. Exactly because... I was neither friend nor family, exactly because I was just a classmate. Perhaps that fact is the reason she was able to say those words at all. Hi, I'm crying a bit because I wanted to draw stuff for Valentine's Day but draw nothing so now I'm late. Oh, oh I mean, it, it's, no, it's no big deal if you're a little late, if you still want to draw it. Me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Elio. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just glad nothing really happened. But yeah. Makoto. What the all? I. Don't die. I wonder why. Why did I say what I did to someone like you? Maybe I wanted you to help me. I couldn't tell anyone else, and I didn't want people to know. So I just chose you, the guy who sat next to me. I didn't even believe you'd come. Mm. Hey, it's strange, isn't it? I don't have a future beyond this point. It's just been looping countless times. I can never escape from this. I don't even know what to do anymore. I'm just stuck in fate's loop. By the time I realize it, it's morning again. Wataro, I have to go. Let's see each other again today. Watching. Oh, so he was watching the whole thing. Ugh. All right. All right, let's see what other endings we can get. I'm guessing I gotta do some stuff in the kitchen. So, like, I wanna... Because, like, 
I know I got a gun, or not a gun. I know I got a knife. Um. I guess he wanted to know what happened in order to know how to stop it. Oh, maybe. Since it is a loop. Time loop, but the victim is aware of it the entire time, but is powerless to do anything about it. So she just accepts it happening over and over and over again. Oh, that's so sad. That's really sad. Alright, let's take the kitchen knife. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. Let me see if I can kill her dad with the kitchen knife now that I, I have the kitchen knife, right? Yes, okay. I do have the kitchen knife. Uh, let me save on a separate save file. Because I'm guessing one of the endings is killing Makoto with the knife and another is killing her dad with the knife. I'm gonna kill the dad with the knife. Yeah, bitch. You thought you could kill her and get away with it? Yeah, kill him. Fuck you. And all is right with the world. Makoto don't gotta die. I guess killing MC and killing the dad. Oh yeah, yeah, That that's another option I was thinking was killing MC. Makoto hadn't died. She had been saved. I killed her father and saved her. Makoto cried her eyes out every day after that, but after a while, she slowly began returning to normal. You saved her, but at what cost? Yeah, she doesn't have any family, unless like her mom took her in. So, like, her life would be even rougher. Unless someone took her in. Sweats nervously. <laughs> How long... has it been? I made everyone worry about me. That includes you. Sorry about that. The dad wasn't exactly the best family, though, yeah. Let me call Child Protective Services, please. But, thanks. <laughs> now that was a real surprise. Nikio is always so bubbly, but that day she cried so hard her eyes turned red. It kind of made me feel glad that I didn't die. Huh. Hmm? Hmm? What's with the music? You know... I've been thinking about it this whole time. That music doesn't sound good! That's how it is, huh? It was you, right? You're the person who killed my father. Oh! Uh, you came to my house that day, didn't you? Murder time. Yeah. Oh, I really like this song, though. Oh, when it picks up, it picked up. Why? Why did you do that? I wanted to save you! So... Saying that I was supposed to die that day, but my father did instead. Yeah, that but I said earlier wasn't about how her life would be more difficult without her family. <laughs> uh, I won't accept that. He didn't even do anything wrong. He abused you! How did you think this would all end up? He kept working for my sake. It was hard on him, but he kept doing his best. How? Just how do you think I felt living the way I have for all this time? 
Daddy. I was all my father had. And likewise, my father was all I had. We were both saving each other. You don't... you don't get it. There's no way you could understand anything. You didn't save me by doing this. Even if you saved my life, you can't save my heart. My father died in my place that day. Only one person was supposed to die on that day. Then... That day, the one who died was my father. She looks kinda like Sayori. Why, cause her neck is snapping? There's another DDLC character who looks more like her, but I won't say who. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and today, the one who dies will be me. Makoto killed herself. She took her own life of her own free will. If this world was really such a painful, hellish place to live in for them, maybe this was for the best. Oh, jeez. Bad into dependence. I really want a good end. I want to save her. Mm. Why are we saving her? Because we don't want her to die. She doesn't deserve to die. She's being abused by her dad. And then her dad murders her. Why not? Cuz I don't want her to die! Oh, uh, no, no, no. Not that one. Um. Wait, let me. Let me go to the title screen. She's choosing to, though. She did it because I killed her dad, okay? No, it's not fate. No. Choosing is a very strong word in this situation. She wasn't exactly willing in the first ending, yeah. Um, let's see. Just still turn on the gas. Maybe if I choose no. Maybe if I choose no to things. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually gonna look up a guide because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do next. Alright, not hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I kill Makoto with the knife? Let me see. Can I kill her with the knife? Get a closer look at her sleeping face. Huh? So it wasn't a kill option, it was just to look at her? Wait, did I kill her? Or, or what? Oh no, I guess not. Wataro. You came to save me again. I'm glad. Wataro. Do you know that I killed your dad? Wataro, I love... Wait, what? D you... You love me? Wait. This beautiful girl's heart... had been stabbed with a knife. I did it. She was hopelessly destined to die. Yeah, this is the Archfiend ending. This is what Archfiend was saying. If she couldn't escape her cruel fate, then the very least I could do 
just ease her suffering with my own hand. Mm. This is good. Thank you. Ataro clearly did not excel in biology. That's not where the heart is. <laughs> I'm sure. This was my fate. Pow! What? Something hit my head quite hard. Oh, is that her dad? I dropped to the floor. Oh, what? Oh! Hi! <laughs> what at all? Why? Why did it turn out like this? Paco belongs to me. He can't go doing something like this without my permission. Do you remember the entire reason we started this thing? Because of her. Also, I guess she's... Oh, she, she got angry that we stole her kill, I guess. It's like, only I can kill Makoto. That's why I want you to fix these things, because I don't want Makoto to get killed by someone else. Mako has to live. If we kill her, she ain't very happy about that. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, it's not it's not a young dead I think, but well, kind kind of is when she's killing us. But I mean, understandable. We did just kill her best friend. Yeah, our role is to save her, not kill her. <laughs> I won't accept a future where she doesn't live. I don't care if her father, you, or even I end up as the victim. I'll do it one more time. I won't let it end like this. It's unforgivable. Wait for me, Mako. I'll change it. I'll change your fate. <laughs> I really don't like making jokes about how someone is fated to die. Like, even if you're making it as like a joke, I really don't like that kind of thing to be said. With the next Mobius, I'll kill you off right at the start. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Punishment for resignation. Understandable. Have a good day. Let's try again. I am not ending until I get a good end. All right, I will save her. You resign to the fate that Mako dies and in doing so make Mikio a very unhappy camper. I want her to step on me, not stab me. <laughs> Twy, are you simping for Mikio now? Okay. Wait, wait, no, no. Is there anything in the bathroom? Not very good looking, I'm average. Let me see, is there anything new in here? <laughs> yes, I'm simping. Just in general, not... <laughs> not just for VQ. <laughs> Okay. Alright, let's go into Makoto's room. Is there anything we can do in here? Maybe if I read this stuff. Let me see. Yes, I would like to read it. Let me see. Oh, da 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 da. Ba da ba da ba da ba.
Number of people who would die. All right. Yep. Yep. Wait. I, I guess that's why we're in the loop because we went past the number. I feel like I should be able to grab the thing next to it, but I guess not. We'll maintain decorated plant. Cute looking shelf. It's Makoto's diary. Read it. Uh, yeah. How did she kill him if he killed Makoto? And only one person can die there that day. He stabbed her, but she didn't die. We can assume she went to the hospital or something. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, that could have been a thing. What? What? Yeah. I'm not sure. Cause yeah, someone has to- it has to be one death. I was curious what would happen if two people died, but I guess it's just not possible. She didn't kill him, she smacked him in the head and then sent him back to the start of the loop. Oh, okay. She's like, okay, if you, if you kill Mako again, I'm just gonna kill you, bitch. Get back in there. Yeah, I want I want to save Makoto. Every every bit about like her life story is something I can really relate to. So I'm not gonna stop until she's safe. Like, this is a very simple game, but it's it's definitely making me feel things. Because I can relate to Makoto, but... I guess just in general, like, games that have, like, the kind of, like, really bad family aesthetic is... I shouldn't say aesthetic. Really bad family. Uh, what is it? Really bad family setup is something that I tend to relate to. Dynamics, yeah. Yeah, bad family dynamics. No, not the aesthetic, no. It's not aesthetic at all. There's a picture of a cat drawn. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oddly colored notebook. Oh. Was that the one I read before? Hmm. Let me look up a guide. That's the rules. <laughs> Can't think of anything else to do. Makoto's diary. I already read it. Let me go back to the entrance. Let me go save. Want to nudge? Yes. Let me save right here. Fairly odd parents. That's the rules. It's the fairly odd parents. Kitchen, don't grab the knife, read the notebook, then leave. Oh, okay. So let's see. Hold on. Wait, where's the knife? Oh, do I need to examine the curry first? Or did I already grab the knife? Oh. Okay, yeah. I got a... Yeah, let me reload to where I have the knife. I do have the- yeah, I have the knife in this one. I didn't care why the- the knife doesn't spawn sometimes. It's weird. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I misread. I don't- 
I don't want the knife. I just need to get the prompt to get the knife. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, yeah, I misread it. <laughs> I turn on the stove. And then a kitchen knife. Don't take it. Then we read the notebook. And then we leave. So is this one, right? Or... Where's the notebook? This book? Oddly colored notebook? Alright. So we read the notebook. Oddly colored notebook, yes. Okay. So we just need to read this and then leave, right? Number of people who will die on any given day. Are you gonna make your own Mobius strip? Oh, maybe, maybe. One, what's going on, and then head out. I see. Be like, I right, out of here. I I'm gonna leave then. I was about to take the red pill. <laughs> Wait. Don't go. It happened right when I was about to leave. Someone pulled on my sleeve. It was Makoto. Please don't go. You came to save me. Didn't you? I know. But you can't. The amount of people who will die on a given day is set. That means if you save me, someone else has to die. And if you mess up a step in your plan, the result might end up even worse than that. It's impossible no matter what you do. Ring of Fate, Mobius is trapping me here. Why hasn't anyone noticed? I know, I figured it out by now. I know that this world is an illusion. So... Please, stay here with me. Don't go away. Stay here in this endless time loop. For me. <laughs> Come see me every day. You're all I have, Wataro. Your constant visits are the only thing that has kept me sane. I'll be really lonely if no one comes to see me anymore. I'll go crazy. Come on, Wataro, please. I'm begging you. So I guess she, like, wound up falling in love with us after all the time loops. But she knows that her fate can't change, so she doesn't want to break the the cycle. Does that mean we're allowed to kill your dad now, Coughs? Right? <laughs> yeah, if you're in love with us and you want us to stay around, can we please kill your dad? She just doesn't want to be alone anymore. It's not love. Mmm. Please, 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 please. She needs someone, anyone. She's like dependent on having someone in her life. I'm begging you, Wataru. Stay with me. Leave. You got a family in real love. I, mm, I, I wouldn't say that her family is giving her a good thing of love, Archfiend, since it's kind of implied that her dad abuses her both, I'm guessing, physically and sexually? Oh, oh, MC, okay. I thought you were talking about Makoto. How many times has it been now? Yee, true, true, true. 
What is it you desire? Do you still not understand? No matter how much you twist the ring of fate, you'll always arrive at the same result. If you still don't understand this after going through it several times, then continue struggling within this endlessly repeating time period. Nah, I'm built different. <laughs> Why are you happy? Didn't you want me to do this to save Makoto? Endless June 23rd? Alright. Well then. I'm assuming... Okay, so that... That game had... That round... Had me come in... Grab... Not, not grab the knife. Uh, and then leave after reading the notebook. So I'm gonna assume now what I need to do is have the knife, read the diary, and then leave. That's the last bad ending. Is there a good ending or is that all of the endings? Let me see. Let me read this and let me, let me try this out. I hope that's not, I hope that's not all of the endings. I hope there's, I hope there's something else. There's one more ending if you have the knife. Well, I do have the knife. Let me see. Let me see, is my, is my theorem correct? I do have the knife, right? Hold on, Maybe I do have the knife, right? Yes, I have the knife. I do, right? Please tell me the MC kills Mikio. <laughs> I left the house. Maybe I just took the means to kill someone away. I had realized it. If Fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. That way, the world can stay in balance and Makoto's life can be saved. It was a simple idea. One person has to die, therefore... If I, an irregularity, disappear, this nightmare will be over. Oh... Strangulation still exists, Elio, knife stops nothing. You're right. Makoto won't die, and neither will her dad. Mikio will survive as well. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, oh no. Yeah, he's... He's killing himself to save Makoto. I'll just fade away without Makoto or Mikio knowing. This might not even be the right answer, but... There's only one way to find out. Mikio just sentenced us to die. <laughs> I looked at the kitchen knife I was gripping. I'm hoping her dad would be too much of a bitch baby to try strang you strangling. Yeah. That's like way too hard cuz it, it you have to like watch the life leave their eyes. Stabbing is so much more easier. And by the time you stab, for the most part, there's no going back from that. But strangling, you have to be very dedicated to doing it. I looked at the kitchen knife I was gripping. And just like that, yeah, Mikio took a stranger who had no connection to Makoto at all and forced him to kill himself to save her friend. If anyone who had a connection to her died, Makoto wouldn't have been able to live with it. God, Mikio is a bitch. And just like that. You and I... We're the same. Today will end, and tomorrow will finally come for you. You've been released from fate's loop. Nothing will tie down your life anymore. But there's still the possibility of her getting killed by her dad. You should live. This is like... A temporary solution. 
for like a really bad situation she's in. True end classmate. That's it? Is that the only ending I had left? Oh, I got the staff roll. Ugh. She's saved in the way that she's alive. As long as she's alive, she can get eventually away from her dad. Um, I wouldn't really try and wink people's lives. I think Makoto deserves to live just as much as MC does. I think everyone has the same right to live as anyone else. I guess that's kind of the, the thing here. Someone has to die and none of the endings are satisfying because you always have to have someone die. No life is more valuable than the other. Mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of the message here. Is no life is more important than the others. I guess do with your life what you want. The only issue with that is that Mikio and the dad go unpunished. Yeah. Like, Mikio puts the MC in a situation where he has to die. And then the dad started this whole situation in the first place by killing Makoto. It's just altogether unsatisfying. Mataro has passed away. The truth that the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. I mean, think about it more like this. Her dad keeps killing her. Mikio keeps making people go through this hell to get her saved one more day. And Makoto is stuck in a constant loop of dying and loneliness. Mikio is the true Yandere, yeah. And I don't have much trust in Karon games. I'm usually unsatisfied with the endings. Yeah. <laughs> So something about Charon always like makes me think that there's something sus going on with Charon. I don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me has died. Even though he had disappeared. It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. Not even sad. I don't... I didn't have a single connection to him. He was just the person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without him. The same quiet everyday life. He was gone, but my life would go on. I think I know where this is going. Mm -hmm. So that's it? So no head? <sighs> what happens if I press start? I just want to see. So that that's it then. That's it then. Yeah, that was like a mirror of what Wataro said at the start. So I guess... I guess there really is no happy ending here. No matter what, someone has to die. Mm. Mm. Because Wataro doesn't have a mysterious friend giving him a Mobius strip to save his life eventually in exchange for the life of a stranger. Welp. That was Makoto Mobius. Uh. Really. Really unsatisfied. <laughs> really, like, I, I mean, that's, that's Charon's games, I guess. Y you kinda, it, it's kinda like, it's kind of like SMT in a way, like, SMT, you just kind of gotta go with whatever ending you're most satisfied with, even though you know that it's not, like, an almighty good or bad. Uh, but still, very, 
very unsatisfying. The fact that Mikio is doing all this out of like a the selfish desire to save Makoto, but like maybe maybe she should have done something like that uh, like I, I guess I don't know. I, I wish like she would do something to help Makoto out with her situation. Like, I don't know. Call Child Protective Services or something. Take Makoto to therapy. Don't just have people sacrifice their lives every single day so that Makoto doesn't die each day. Just because she doesn't want Makoto to die. Like, I don't know. It just... it It's so stupid. It's so stupid. And I'm so frustrated. Especially because, like, I like... Uh, out, out of all of the cast, I feel like... I only really cared about Makoto. So, knowing that she has to keep living each day, like, in this abusive situation with her dad, and on top of that, her friend is, like, killing people to keep her alive another day out of, like, selfishness? That's, like, really frustrating. <laughs> It's a pretty unsatisfying game. Personally, the ending I find the most satisfying, as fucked up as it may seem, is the one where the dad is killed, and then she eventually goes out later. Reason being is that she lives without him for a while, but she goes of her own free will of being, instead of being robbed of it by her dad. Yeah, I, I agree. That that's the ending that I most liked, of all the endings that were offered. Like, still, it was unsatisfying, but at least, at least she went out choosing it instead of getting killed, I suppose. Child Protective Services are less than satisfactory in Japan, but if she has time loop powers, she has all the time in the world ke to keep trying, yeah. Like, don't, don't just, don't just settle for, like, killing people, like, I don't know. I feel like Mikio could have done something if she actually really did care about Makoto. It feels like Feels like maybe she doesn't actually, I don't know, like, I, I really don't know what M Mikio's whole deal is. Yeah. I don't get the Mikio dying ending anymore. Yeah, she just, like, I don't understand. <laughs> this is just kind of one of those games where I'm just like, I'm... Uh, didn't, didn't like it, didn't like it. <laughs> But hey, at least we were all here together. <laughs> and at least we all were here to shit talk it, right? <laughs> she knows how the curse works based on two of the endings. Yeah, the, the Mikio ending. <laughs> that was really weird. And like, she just is like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. Even though I didn't have this whole grand scheme of keeping Makoto alive each day by killing off people. And by dying, this like ends that whole thing and then Makoto is probably gonna die tomorrow. All right Sounds cool What did she think that Wataro would continue the cycle in her place or something? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know with this game I don't know with this game <laughs> Maybe she knew that Makoto would kill MC maybe <laughs> I don't know <laughs> But anyway uh, that was it for Makoto Mobius. <laughs> I'm upset. But hey. Hey, it was an experience. Li life's an experience. But, uh, I, I guess one thing I want to say is if someone is dealing with this kind of situation, uh, I guess uh, there's like a few things I should say. Uh, like... If you're like Makoto in this kind of situation with her dad, especially because I'm assuming he was sexually abusing her, I'm guessing by that one CG, um, don't, please, please tell people what's going on. Like, I know that there's a little bit of shame to it, especially if it's Child Protective Services, like, taking you away and stuff, but it, it's so much better than having to put up with that. And then, like, if you're if you're Mikio, and like your friend is keeps dying, well, th this isn't very rooted in reality. But like, if you know a friend's gonna die, um, 
maybe support them in a way to make it to where they they don't die like call child protective services please or something call 911 something do something to help them out like ugh. the thing is in the mikio dies ending we're on the day she died we don't know how far in the future it was when she sent Wataro back in time. That was her pre-Mobius magic. She attacked Wataro on the day he stabbed Makoto, no? That was her Mobius self stepping in when he failed to do the tasks she sent him in to do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright. But yeah. It is time for art, everyone! Ah, uh, thank you again for coming for Makoto Mobius. Even though it was an unsatisfactory game with an unsatisfactory ending, it was still fun to experience it, it with you guys and shit talk it and chat with y'all. Uh, at the end of every stream, we do art time. Uh, if you have any art uh, that you would like to share, you can at me on Twitter at StarryBunnyBoy. Or you can post in the art channels on Discord. So, uh, let me link the Discord. There you go. And let's look at the art for the night, shall we? Okay, let me go into my folder. That was her horrible way of coping in a way, yeah. It definitely was a horrible way of coping. Alright, so our first piece of art. Let me see. Oh, da -da -dum. oh this is by Gabe. Or no, no, it's not by Gabe. This is by ID. Oh, it's ID Low Art. This is ID Low. ID Low Art. They did Art of Klee from Genshin of Impact. I love the face. I love the mouth and everything. I love that expression. That's so adorable. And she's holding the bomb. Klee before bombing people. Ooh. Adorable. Essentially, it's pretty Ash Bradley of her. Yeah, yeah, that is pretty Ash Bradley of her. She even had green hair. Yeah, don't don't trust green hair. Don't trust green hair, people. <laughs> she pogs. <laughs> yeah, nice art ID. Also, apparently, you didn't know that we had an art channel. So, congratulations on finding the art channel. It's nice to see your art. I have to see more of it. I especially really like the face. It's so cute. I love the mouth especially. I like how it kind of looks like it's popping out. Like they're like very excited. She's very excited to bomb someone. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Good art ID. And then our next piece of art is by Barrett Tanner. Ooh, do, 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 do. Let me let me drop it in. Who pogs the poggers? The Pog Champ, of course. So, this is some art of Barrett's OCs. Uh, these are all uh, the writers, the, the writers of death. Or, or not, the, 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 what is it? The, the pestilent, the, the, the things from Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. They're, they're the writers. Uh, so, we got Barbara, the writer of death. Darcy, the writer of war. John, the writer of conquest. And Florian, the writer of Famine. I really like Darcy's design with the little mouse for cider. <laughs> but I also really like Barbara's design. Like, Barbara always has really good designs. I really like, like, I, I guess I really like the, uh, the aestheticism that Barrett goes with her. Because she tends to be, like, a very, like, punk kind of, uh, clothes and, like, kind of like, a. Uh, a bit of a, that one genre of Japanese clothing. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I, re I really like her style. They're all very cute. I think Darcy is very, very cute. And I like how Florian's thing is like, he's famine and he's got like, a rose with like thorns coming around him and all that. It looks really cool. 
and conquest he got that drip though yeah i want i want all their clothes but especially of all the clothes i want to wear john's clothes like look at them boots i like the symbols on the boots too very nice little touch i think are those planet symbols on his boots i think i see like mars and earth i believe i believe that's that's a nice little touch there yeah very cute I like their designs. They look, they look and clean. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little touch. I think he's also got the the one of the circle with the line through it. That's that's the sun, right? If I recall correctly. So he's also got the symbol on his shirt too. It's a nice little touch. I like it. So let me find his comment to make sure I'm not missing out on any uh, bonus commentary. Aww. A valley girl, a child, a stressed out gamer, and a fuckboy gardener. <laughs> that was his comment. <laughs> Very cute. I like it. Good job. Good job, Barry. And then, our next piece of art uh, is actually a uh, gift art that Barrett was given uh, by one of his friends that he wanted to share. He got gifted this for Valentine's Day by one of his friends. It looks really nice. I can see, like, uh, his friend drew all of the things that Barrett likes. So I got Kingdom Hearts, World Ends With You, Pokemon, Mimikyu, uh, Undertale, Hello Charlotte. Yeah, this is definitely, like, a love letter for, uh, for Barrett. Cause it, get it? Cause it's Valentine's Day? I think I see some of Barrett's OCs, too. It's really nice to get a Valentine's Day card. I like to get little drawings of all the things you like. That's really nice of them to do that for you. Looks really nice too. I especially really like the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu looks adorable. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations on the cool Valentine's art you got. Yeah, it's really sweet. And then oh, I don't know. Hold on. I think I gotta I gotta screen cap this one later. So uh, I'll do that one later. Let's see. Uh, oh! This piece of art is by... Uh, Gabe the Babe. So let's look at this. This is some more Valentine's Day art. And by Gabe the Babe. Will you be my Valentine? Please say yes. Yes! I saw, like, the post, uh, that they linked for this art. Uh, to their Twitter uh, was like vent art. Uh, so I want to take it seriously when when people say that it's vent art. Um, and they said it was desperation for affection, and love, and extremely lonely. And let me let me retweet that for anyone that wants to see it on Twitter. Uh, so I can definitely understand Valentine's Day is kind of one of those days that kind of fuck me up. Uh, the last few years, Valentine's Day hasn't been so bad because I get to spend it with you guys, but there is still always that, you know, that lead up to Valentine's Day being like, oh, nobody, nobody loves me or whatever. But, but know that there are people that love you. And just please try to remember that whenever you feel down. And Gate the Babe, I love you. And I don't want you to be sad. So I hope... I hope that you had a good Valentine's Day when it was Valentine's Day. And I, I can really relate to what you're going through. Yeah, platonic love is still love. And so is self-love, by the way. So, like, love yourself. Yeah. Yes. A any form of love is love. So, don't don't ever beat yourself up. I, I know it's hard to say that with Valentine's Day. Because it's always in your face whenever Valentine's Day comes up. But there, there is love always around you, and we we love you as well, Gabe the Babe. I hope I hope you're doing okay today. I, I don't know if what I said was all right to say or not, but I I hope it can give you some relief at least, hopefully. Uh, and let's see, our next piece of art is by Blinded Crooks. Is this a is this a what was it? Uh, Bloodborne? Is this a Bloodborne OC? It looks kind of like a Bloodborne OC, doesn't it? It looks really nice. I love the detailing of the clothes. Like, look at all that. All the belts and stuff. Oh, I really like the glove. 
the little detailings that went on the glove right around there. You see that? And the hat. Yeah, I'm guessing this is Bloodborne. Because whenever I see that hat, I'm like, oh yeah, that that's the Bloodborne hat. If you know the enemy as you know yourself, you need not fear the result of 100 battles. Instead, if you love yourself as you love others, you need not fear the result of 100 Valentine's Days. Hell yeah, let's go try. It's a self-love hour. Give yourself a hug right now, chat. Give yourself a hug and give yourself a positive reaffirmant. Listen, I will even take my own advice. You're cool. There you go. I couldn't think of anything else positive to say, but... I said something positive! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! And let's go blinded with the cool art! The cool... I, I'm not sure if this is Bloodborne or not, but it looks like it's Bloodborne. And I like it. I like the hat. I like the clothes. I like the little detailings on, like, the cheekbones on the face. The little detailings on the neck. It's looking good, looking clean. I can see a little bit of chest. Oh, uh, you can see a little bit of chest peeping out, a little titties out. Looking really good, looking real clean, looking real nice and all that. Looking good, looking good, blind. Let's go, blind dead. <laughs> all right. And let's move on to our next piece of art. Ooh. This is some tomorrow won't come for those without fan art. Ooh, nice. Uh, this is done by Acela Rosa John. I see Acela has become a bit of a tomorrow won't come for those without fan. I really like this. You captured the aesthetic of that game and of like Ethering's art style really well. Yeah, I, I, I remember when that game came out, I, I had to also draw fan art. It's, it's just one of those games that get you to feel creative. I love the pose that you went with. Uh, what was their name? Orifiel? It's been a while since I played the game, but I remember really liking them. You did a really good job on this. And you got like, you got like the whole like purple diamond thing. That's like the art style of the game. I really like it. Really good job. Uh, they look really good in your art style. Also, you excited for Mr. Rainer's solve it service? Cause I'm excited. I'm setting aside some money to uh, buy it when it comes out on Steam. Hopefully it's not too expensive. But I'm actually saving some money. So, we'll be playing some more Etherian games soon. And it's nice to know that you like Tomorrow Won't Come For Those Without. It's a really good game. And it's nice to see your art, Isola. And then let me save this one more piece of art. Very nice art. Very nice art to send out for tonight. This piece of art is by... Crimson Red Thread! <laughs> so we got some cute art. Oh, the Ace Vic. Once again, nothing but Ace Vic. Hey, hey. It's cute. And it's what you enjoy. So I really like, I really like the expressions. <laughs> I really like Vic's expression especially. It's so cute. Is this like a, is this like set in a cafe? And like, Vic is like the person that's like serving coffee to Aesop and like Aesop falls in love and they, it's just kind, kind of one of those that's like Yeah, it was set in a cafe. It's so cute. I, lo I love cafe settings for stuff Maybe that's why I want to open a cafe because I love cafes. It looks so cute I also like how Vic is blushing on the ears too <laughs> That's a nice little addition of detail <laughs> oh my god, I just saw <laughs> I saw on the blackboard <laughs> Lynn is cute <laughs> You gay, Jackie, you gay <laughs> Hello, hi Oh, we are actually ending for the day But thank you for dropping by Yeah, we were actually on our very last art for the day Ah, yes, you noticed, yes, I did <laughs> I was I was reading what you wrote down. <laughs> Very gay of you, Jackie. I approve. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that is it for the stream for tonight. Even Lynn didn't notice, and I was like, "Ha ha ha! Success!" Oh, I'm I'm about to tell Lynn. <laughs> Be like, "Hey, Lynn, did you see?" <laughs> All right. Well, 
I'm gonna get going now, guys. Uh, no, don't. Okay, I won't do it. I won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the honor of telling Lynn that. But yeah, thank you guys for coming for Makoto Mobius today. And I will see you. When will I see you? Let me look. Let me look at my. Let me look at my handy dandy little schedule. Oh, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. for Portal 2. So whatever time it is for you right now, add three hours to that, and that's when I'll see you next. Thanks for the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hosting stream as always, Lynn. Wait, why did I write Lynn? What? You were just thinking of Lynn. You're too gay. <laughs> Copy face, you're just too used to writing it like that, I guess. <laughs> hey, understandable. <laughs> Listen, you just had Lynn on the brain. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for coming. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Be sure to take care. Eat, drink, and take your medication. Check my gamers. Bye bye. Yo, 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 yo.